क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ साइनोसाइडल वेव और साइनोसाइडल सिग्नल और साइनोसाइडल सीक्वेंस व्हाट डू मीन बाय साइनोसाइडल इट इज नथिंग बट अ सिंपली साइन वेव सो नाउ बेसिकली साइन वेव इज वैलिड फ्रॉम माइनस इनफिनिटी टू इनफिनिटी बट इफ यू गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट ऑफ दैट सच टाइप ऑफ साइन वेव and if you are going to find out a z transform of such type of sine wave then the result will be always infinite so to avoid this what i'm going to do i'm going to consider this sine wave as a right handed sequence or a left handed signal now how to achieve it now if you multiply that sine wave by u of n then you will get a right handed sequence of sinusoidal wave if you are going to multiply that sine wave by minus u of minus n minus 1 then you can get the value of left handed sided sin omega n now what is the difference what will be the result of left handed sided and right handed sided sine wave sided we give both the results are same only the thing is a sinusoidal but on both the results are same only the thing is a sinusoidal but on left handed will have a negative sign now we'll move on to next what is our function i'm going to consider the central signal i'm going to consider a sine wave as a right handed sided now let's see the function first so as the function is right handed sided that's why multiply sin omega n by u of n now what is the next step we will apply a z transform on both the sides now look at here we have substituted that x of n value and that was sin omega n u of n and we have applied a definition of z transform and that was z transform x of n is nothing but x of z and it is nothing but definition is z summation of function x of n is n value varies from minus infinity to infinity x of n z to the power minus n what was my x of n x of n is sin omega n u of n and it is mentioned over here now what is u of n why the u of n is there because as i told you earlier now as i told you earlier you can solve the sin omega n part on the left hand side also or else right hand side now i want to calculate a right handed side part of sin omega n that's why i have multiplied by u of n and u of n is available from 0 to infinity so this will change the limits of summation and it is having amplitude one in that region now what is the next step sir we have studied one formula sin omega n sin theta is nothing but that's a complex form of sinusoidal wave e to the power i theta minus e to the power minus i theta upon 2j so same formula i'm going to use over here our formula was sin omega n is equal to e to the power j omega n minus e to the power minus j omega n upon 2j i am going to substitute this value in my last result now already i have taken 1 upon 2j common because it's a constant part reason whole summation values depends on value of n so all this e to the power j n function and z to the power n is depends on n but whereas 1 upon 2j is independent on that's why i have taken outside now the next part we can use a linear deep property so that we can find out the z transform of e to the power j omega n and minus e to the power minus j omega n separately now what is the next step i'm going to substitute e to the power j omega by a and e to the power minus j omega by b only to avoid a difficulties
so look at here i have replaced e to the power j omega by a and e to the power minus j omega by b now what is our next step we have studied one formula and that same formula we have used in cos omega n that is while calculating the z transform cos theta and the formula was summation value varies from 0 to infinity a raised to n is 1 upon 1 minus a now on both the sides we have the same summation and inside the summation we have a power n in each and every term so if i'm able to take n common from both the powers then you can say that whatever inside the bracket we have and it is nothing but the value of a so i'm trying to take n common from the both the summation value So look at here, this whole bracket is nothing but my A and this whole bracket is also nothing but my A. So what will be my formula? A result will be all this A or you can say that this A is replaced by A into Z inverse and second part is nothing but 1 upon 1 minus A that A will be replaced by B into Z inverse. Now what is the next step? Just simply multiply numerator and denominator by z and z on both the sides. So after multiplying z in numerator and denominator what I have got z upon z minus a and second part we have z upon z minus b. What is the next part? Just cross multiply denominators on both the sides. Now, next one, just multiply all the brackets. Now, what you can see, this z square and z square get cancelled and if I take z common from both this part, then we can write inside a minus b. In denominator, look at it, if I take minus z common, then we can write a plus b now i am going to resubstitute the values of a b in my whole part So, I have substituted the values of a and b once again in this formula. My a value is e to the power j omega and my b value is e to the power minus j omega. So, this a is replaced by e to the power plus j omega and this b is replaced by e to the power minus j omega. Look at here. Now, in denominator also, a b is replaced by e to the power j omega and e to the power minus j omega and at the end, both the values will be multiplied with each other. Now, look at here. Here, we have bases are same. If the bases are same, then orders always get added. So j omega minus j omega gets cancelled and e to the power 0 is always 1. Now similarly look at here. This is nothing but the formula of a sine. How? I will show you. Now look at here, sin omega formula is e to the power j omega plus e to the power minus j omega upon 2j and cos omega formula is e to the power j omega plus e to the power minus j omega upon 2. Now if we shift this 2j on the left hand side, then what you will get 2j sin omega and the 2j sin omega equation is e to the power j omega minus e to the power minus j omega and this is nothing but e to the power j omega 
minus e to the power minus j omega. So these two values are same. So we can replace this bracket by 2j sin of omega. Similarly, look at here in denominator. And we have e to the power j omega plus e to the power minus j omega. If we shift these two on the left hand side, then this will be twice of cos of omega. And this formula or equation will be replaced by twice of cos of omega. As I told you, this will be replaced by 1. So, this was our result. Now, you can say that this 2j, 2j gets cancelled. So, my result will be that's it. So, this is nothing but the z transform of sin omega n into u of n. So, thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda for further more videos. Thank you so much.